Welcome back to another unturned video. Today I solo joined a Rustern server which was pretty much full. Now this Rustern server focuses more on PvP and on raiding. If you guys want more solo Rustern, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 250 likes. You guys are destroying each like goal and I really appreciate it. Also, 64% of you guys watching this right now are not yet subscribed. So I would appreciate it if you hit that button. We are very very close to 17,000. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Alright, well, we're joining a Rustern server. I haven't actually played Rustern in a, in a really long time, especially solo. Now, this server, I think there are some good kits as well. Everybody's gonna be running around with, with good guns on this server, for sure. Everybody on this server is pretty much like a VIP or a Mega VIP or a Titan or whatever. I really think that the server is kind of a pay-to-win Rustern. Alright, we are in. We got ourselves two rocks, but pretty sure that there are some really good kits. Yeah, I've got myself, like, some free kits, which gives me PvP guns, so that's pretty good. Alright, well, we're gonna start building a base for sure. I got myself a pickaxe and an axe from a kit. Probably gonna build it close to airport. I really like this kind of in the middle and whenever I want to go anywhere I would just go. Yeah, I got myself an mp5 kit. Literally everybody can have this kit. Now, the server has a small vault as well I'm probably just going to put like raiding weapons that we find. There isn't that much people in for now But that's okay. That's kind of good because for now I just want to build the base in peace. The server has a pretty small map as well Unlike the other servers of Rustern that I usually play so it's kind of easy to run into each other if Somebody is shooting you could literally hear him from the other side of the map and for now We don't really want that for now. We got to build the base and then pvp hopefully will come on later farm myself a bit of wood and some metal for now we're just gonna make ourselves a campfire place it right over there now we can smelt ourselves a bunch of frag now obviously i'm gonna build the base starting off with metal i'm not gonna do stone or wood or any of that because that's that's pretty weak we're gonna place a one by one for now probably i'll only make it a two by one i don't really want to build a huge base now apparently the server is going to wipe pretty soon as well it doesn't really matter if we have a huge base right, we gotta farm a bit more because i'm completely out finally got a door and we our base is done got a one by one full metal that's pretty good for now. Now obviously we're gonna make ourselves a bunch of crates. So we'll place one right over there. Yeah, I still need to get myself some metal. I do have myself some high quality as well from all the farming that we had. Got ourselves 10. Later on we'll definitely start upgrading it to a high quality metal. Get ourselves some charcoal as well. which could be useful later on. Since our base is done, first what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make myself a bag. So if I die I could come back. And then after that I will start looting around. Now over here very close to my base there is this part where it's actually an unmarked location but there are elite crates here. And from an elite crate you could actually get some really really good load such as c4 rockets but i think they are kind of rare pretty much from this you could also get literally every single weapon there's literally one right over here yeah there's a bolt get ourselves a pump we'll take all of these as well so that we could smell them and could give us a bunch of high quality metal and normal metal also on the server you need blueprints to actually craft so in order for us to craft c4 we would need to find the c4 and then make it into a blueprint and then we could actually craft them now we got ourselves a bed let's go and next we're gonna run around the map maybe try to find some pvp we'll try to load the airport as well and maybe we'll get to find a live raid or something something like that. Well, I hear quite a ton of alarm shots actually happening. I don't know from where. Probably PvP. Oh, two AKs. That's actually really good. We could strip one. We have ourselves an extra magazine. Other than that, it's just a bunch of junk we don't really need. Well, there are people speaking. Barely hear them. They're very, very quiet. But I think they're inside this base. I'm gonna try to go in silently. Yeah, they're saying who has rockets in there. I think they're gonna raid this base. I think they're raiding this. Yeah, there are sentries. Oh, shotgun. He has a shotgun out. I don't think they know about me. Wait, where? Oh, well, he just literally TP'd. Wait, did one of them die? Well, they know about me now. As soon as I start shooting him, he TP'd away. Oh, he's right there. I, he didn't see me. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this wolf almost killed me. There's one more. Alright, they're both dead. Oh, I'm getting shot at with an LR. I don't know from where. Oh, I'm dead. There's another guy. I'm gonna go back. I do have myself some SMGs mostly, but I don't think it's going to be enough to kill. Like, the whole server is literally there for some reason. I think they're all teaming up to raid this one specific base offline. Maybe I could go over there, try to kill a couple of them, get their guns, grab their heights here, loot, and then home. It's kind of impossible to beat a four-man pay-to-win against me just being solo. Alright, we're back. There's a guy literally by the hole. I think he spotted me, actually. Yeah, he sure as hell did. Oh, he's dead. All right, last bullet literally killed him. Okay, yeah, he's fully geared. LR, heavy jacket. Let me take the LR out instead. Let me vault that sniper. It's a really, really OP sniper, actually. I don't know how I managed to kill him with the SMG when he was full heavy. I could try to grab the rest of his loot. Came back. What the hell? Another AK then. Thank you. Yeah, full heavy. All right, yeah, I could maybe home. Let's vault the extra AK, all of the extra ammo as well. Let's put the heavy jacket as well. And right, we already got some OP loot just from PvPing with pay-to-win people. 
Well, I am getting sprayed dead by an M249. And I don't know how I am alive with literally 1 HP. Well, I wanted to do a second bed very close to here, but I don't know if that's actually possible. Looks like they have roof campers on top of the actual base that they're raiding, just spraying down everybody they see. There's a guy very close as well. I don't know if he's one of them. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, I think he's one of them. Let's take all of his guns, a bunch of guns. Alright, well, we could go home now. We te we technically did profit a bit from this guy, so even though that they're roof camping with M249s. We got ourselves a raiding sniper as well, which I think you can only get it if you have a kit or something. So that's a pay-to-win weapon. I am not 100% sure, though. Next, I'm probably just going to start upgrading base. Maybe make myself some more crates, because I barely have any. We've also got ourselves an armored door, so we could actually replace that, so that's pretty good. Next, I'm going to farm as much metal as possible. Well, there are people in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Alright, there we go, both dead. And this guy had an AK, some ammo, nothing that special though. I didn't realize that there were two actually. I, th I knew that there was one guy. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I don't think he had anything. He had a salvaged axe though, that's pretty good, I'll take that. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh yeah, he did spot me. I don't think he knows that I know about him though, but he might push me. Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. All right, and he had a bunch of junk, a SAR. Yeah, he mostly had a lot of scrap, though. I guess that could be uh, kind of useful. Maybe we can make ourselves a blueprint, but for now, I don't really care about blueprints. There's a guy right in front of me. He has no clue that I actually am right behind him. Pretty sure he went up to the tower, so I'm gonna go up there, and I'm gonna kill him. Now, hopefully, he doesn't actually hear me. And he is dead. Yeah. Oh, a rocket launcher. There's a rocket in there, actually. Let me vault that. Yeah, he had no clue about me. He had a locker, some guns. I'll take the MP5, another SAR. We'll take the locker though, because right now we actually do need storage in our base. Alrighty, and we're currently upgrading base from a 1x1 to a 2x1. Actually, really, really need to do that, because this 1x1 in here is a bit cramped up. I have really no space to do any more loot. There's a naked over here. We gotta kill him before he whips out 20 charges from his vault. Gonna salvage this door as well and replace it as our main door. And now all we need is a roof, which we can make it high quality metal as well, actually. There we go, we've got ourselves a 2 by one We'll move the campfire right over there as well, and we'll place a locker right over here. Well, there's some people shooting M249 somewhere. Now, there's a guy actually right in front of me, and I think he's kind of geared, so I'm gonna try to push him. Let's clear this guy first then. Alright, they're both dead. Let's go easy MP5. Oh, okay, yeah, he is geared. Full heavy plate, he has the big backpack. What the hell were they doing? Right, let's take everything, all of these guns. L96, another LR, savaged pick, a bunch of ammo for the sniper as well. I knew he was geared, but I didn't know he was that geared actually. Alright, yeah, we are back in base. That's probably the richest duo I have killed until now. Oh wait, they're both dead, right? Yeah, let's go take out all of their loads. Now I'm practically running around naked with a gun. It's kind of stupid, but if I do get to kill somebody, then I will get another gear set without actually having to leave clothes. These guys have another rocket launcher. Some random junk, though. Nothing that good. We could go back to base now. We didn't leave anything that good. Got ourselves a locker as well. We could place it right over there. Put all of these extra weapons in there in case we do get killed. Drop the rocket, put it in our vault. Maybe we'll get to find a raid. So on this map, they have actually added cargo. Now on previous maps, I never ever saw this. So I'm gonna explore it for the first time. I don't know if there are any people over there, but if there are, hopefully we'll get to kill them. And hopefully this monument actually gives us a ton of good loot. Yeah, there are actually a bunch of elite crates. This monument is really good. We got another rocket launcher. Put the rocket back in vault, obviously. But somebody was literally right here. All of these, I didn't loot any of them. All I loot was just this elite crate oh yeah there's a guy right there all right he's dead uh ak some armor mp5 some pistol ammo back in base got ourselves quite a ton of scrap actually from this got 100 scrap right over there as well put all of these extra weapons so i need to get kind of loaded as well we haven't been on the server for too long and we're mostly getting everything from pre-vp rather than actually grinding Alright, he's dead. He seems kind of geared, actually. Yeah, thumbs, two thompsons, a bunch of suture kits, some scrap. And this guy has a lot of component. Oh, how is he not dead, man? He should be so low. Oh, yeah, this is his base. Alright, found it. Found the life base. Right, we're gonna go back and we're gonna try to online raid. Somebody's using a chainsaw very close, actually. And there's a bunch of chopped trees down there. It could be the same guy, actually. Because we are very, very close to that base. 
Oh, there's a guy right over there. He's mining nodes, I think. I could maybe try to snipe him with my sniper. Yeah, there we go. He's dead. If he has a lot of loot, we'll actually take it and then run back to base. I think this is the same guy that actually sniped me. I'm not 100% sure, though. Yeah, a bunch of components. All right, well, I'll take everything. He has a satchel charge, a lot of metal, a lot of wood. Let's take the rocket launcher out. So it's going to be live for sure. We gotta be very careful. We'll put rocket inside that wooden door. Vault the rocket launcher back again just in case we die. And looks like we read it into honeycomb. I should actually have enough rockets to actually fully raid this own wall. I'm gonna guess that's where the loot is going to be. This should be the last rocket. Yeah, it did break. Looks like we broke most of the loot as well. Well, there's a bunch of loot though. LRs, a bunch of fuel, a hundred stone. All right, let's do home. We did take everything that's important from this raid. All right, he is dead. All right, let's take the LR out and let's see what loot he had. I'm pretty sure that the loot is going to be... Oh, I'm getting shot at. I think he's on board of the cargo ship actually. MP5, some ammo. And some of the loot is still up here, right? Yeah, let's just pick up literally everything. We got two lockers from that. That's actually really, really good. All right, he's dead. I don't think he had anything that good, though. I don't see anyone on the cargo ship. There's a guy right over there. I think that's the same guy, actually. All right, let's go quickly loot this guy that I have just killed. See what kind of loot he had. If he had anything important, we'll go depot it. But looks like he has actually a, a bunch of logs. Yeah, there's like 100 logs over here. All right, let's switch back to the sniper. Maybe we can have a... Yeah, he's going up. And he is dead. Let's go. Maybe we could go and push and see what kind of loot he had. I'll take the MP5 out just in case there's some underwater PvP. Oh yeah, there is a guy actually. Alright, he is dead. And he had an other AK fully ducked out, a bunch of syringes, a bunch of ammo. Let's go check out if there's anything stuck up here. Maybe Yeah, there actually is. Looks like an MP5 syringe. That was pretty good. That was a gear duo actually. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Now the server did actually wipe a couple of hours later. And so basically all of my loot was gone anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!